What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Allison and I got my boyfriend Isaac here and we're currently on our way to West Hollywood in Los Angeles, California because we are going to a Grammys brunch. So for those of you who don't know, Isaac, he is signed with Rock Nation and that is his football agency. And Rock Nation is owned by Jay-Z. Yes, sir. Beyonce's husband. Yes, sir. So we are thankfully invited to this Rock Nation brunch and there's gonna be tons of people there. We actually went last year and it was insane. Like so many cool people were there. People actually, I've like admired and like looked up to. Like it's actually insane. I mean, Meredith Gray herself, Ellen Pompeo. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right, but Meredith please. Gray from Grey's Anatomy was there. I did not I mean go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, geez, you gonna let me in? Can I talk? Oh my God. No, on a serious note, it was juiced up last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were so many people there. I mean, Joe Funny Jonas story. was there last year. Funny story, we, so like the way the event works is they don't tell you the address or anything because it's so exclusive. Here, let me, hold on, let's, but let's put the exposure on Isaac because he's a little bit darker. They don't even tell you the address. That's how exclusive it is. Shout out to us for going. I'm gonna quickly explain like what the whole process is because I feel like it's very interesting. So they tell you like, okay, the Rock Nation party is going to be at this date, at this time, like stay tuned for like all the rest of the information. So Isaac's manager was like, hey, like you gotta pick up your tickets at this place. You go to the place to pick up your tickets the day of, I think you can do it the day before, but yeah, two time basically, slots. yeah, there's like time slots that you have to go and pick up your tickets. You go to this location, pick up your tickets, and then it gives you a location to go and park your car, and you have to go to that location, get in a shuttle, and they take you to this address, and you have no idea where you are, and it's kind of crazy. It's actually pretty insane. So, yeah. funny story, we got our tickets last year, mm -hmm. and we had no clue what to expect. No we clue. show up to the shuttle spot. Keep in mind, that's the only address they give you. And the first person we see is this man, Khalid. Khalid, how do you say his name? Khalid. Khalid. The send me your location, Khalid. dude. Khalid. Khalid? The, wow, I uh, can't freaking say his name. Anyways. Young, dumb, and broke, dude. We were waiting. <laughs> Literally, this we man, and he's on the phone like... Yeah, they said they're at capacity. I'm like, if this fool's not getting in the alley, we might as well get in the car and go back to Huntington Beach. I mean, already, when we first got there, I was like, I feel really cool because we're waiting in the same line as this man, and, like, he is Where so much more than I am. This man was literally just posted up. Then we get to the events after we finally get in, and the first person we see is P. Diddy. Mm -hmm. We're walking in, and he's walking out. I'm like... Bro, where are you going? <laughs> and Miguel, like, I could go down a list of people. She doesn't even know who Miguel is. Honestly, my coolest person that I saw last year there was yeah. Meredith Gray because I have watched her since I was like in like what third grade with my mom like we used to watch it every single week and I still watch it to this day and like I still watch all the reruns it's actually crazy how much I watch the show it's actually but it shameful. doesn't matter it's shameful and I do want to say like we understand that these people are just people like they are celebrities, but they are just people. Like, why are you treating them this way? But after looking up to somebody for like your whole life, it's just crazy that they're actually real and that they're in front of you and you can go and talk to them. But I'm just not the type of person to go up and talk to these people. Listen, I'm the type of dude that goes, I always give like the awkward dap of like, and I say something that's deep that they're like, well, I don't know you. I'll be like, man, keep grinding, keep doing your thing. And I have a lot of respect for you. Yeah. We were, so we went to this con this Spotify thing and Lil Nas was standing behind us. That, it's the last vlog, so if oh. you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's so the last vlog. So Lil Nas was standing beside us and I was like, Ali, man, I think I'm just gonna go up to him and be like, I'm just proud of you, bro. <laughs> the, only, the only person I said hi to, like I saw some pretty cool people at the Spotify event, the only person I wanted to say hi to was that Morgan girl from the cheerleading uh, yeah. show on Netflix. And I thought it was pretty she cool. She went up to her, she goes, I love you. I, have so I go, no, I, I held her hand and I said, I don't usually do this, but I love you. And then I walked away and I was like, that sounds creepy as hell. Like, she is the cares? age of my brother. Like, Who that cares? sounds creepy. Okay, Listen, anyways, wait. These people. We are talking way too much. No, we're not. These people, I deal with this. As an NFL athlete, I want people to come up to me and be like, man, I have so much respect for you. I love what you do. I love the Chargers. That's what we work our whole lives for. So if we can go up to them and enhance their fame experience and calmly tell them that we have a lot of respect for them. Well, that's true because I guess people come up to you and they're like, 
Like, oh my god, I'm such a fan. Like, you're I not, love you don't walk away do that. from that saying, like, ew, like, that's gross. Somebody that's came up true. to me, somebody came up to me, uh, the other day and they go, you look a lot like Isaac Rochelle, like, joking around, and I'm like, oh wait, they just said that. And I'm like, I love when that happens. Like, if somebody recognizes me, that's unreal. Okay. Interrupting Isaac now because we have been talking for the past eight minutes. You need to get and ready. And I need to start getting ready. So, here, let me let me talk to you guys. This is just gonna be a Grammy get ready with me kind of thing. And then I'm, I'm gonna vlog the Grammy party individually. So like I said, the party is in West Hollywood. So we are driving up to LA. We live in Orange County, so it's about an hour drive. And instead of going all the way back home tonight, we were like, you know what, let's just get a hotel and make a night of it. Especially because Isaac's agency, like they plan on going to dinner and like maybe going out after. So we were like, you know what, let's just get a hotel. So right now we are on our way to the hotel. It is currently nine, Isaac. Oh my God. So it is oh, currently. Shit. I need to get over and take that road. I'm sorry, Allie. You gotta cut me some slack. It is currently 9:30, and we have to be at Isaac's agent's hotel at 11 o'clock. And I am not ready. Isaac and I thought we were gonna get to the hotel with like an hour and a half, so I could have gotten ready, relaxed, and like done a very relax and get ready with me but that is not how this video is going to go so i'm going to get ready in the car this is so different from last year because last year i literally had one of my makeup. friends from back home do my makeup she lives in la now but she did my makeup and so now i'm doing my own makeup and ugh, this is just like not a great experience i'm not very good at makeup but i'm gonna do a get ready in the in the car so a get ready in the car i'm gonna do a get ready with me in the car so here I go, and we can just talk about whatever. You and I can have normal conversations, and then we're gonna be good. I'm telling you this. I just should I I should almost pull up on that thing and just go over. No, you should not. It's not even new. I mean, we're going a completely wrong way. So Isaac took a wrong turn. Way to go, Isaac. Can you focus on the road? Well, the thing is, what do you need from Sally's? Because maybe Debbie has. One. No, no, she does not. I'm what, telling you. What is it? Don't. What is it? They don't have to hear. <laughs> <laughs> No, because you're going to think I'm extra. No, tell me. I can't. No, Allie, come on, tell me. I don't think you guys have ever seen me on my channel with, like, no makeup on at all. Forget the vlog right now. What are we getting from Sally's? God. Okay, here we go. Let's get ready with me, guys. Hair extensions. How is that extra? I go, maybe. Let's ask Deb. Maybe she has some. She definitely does not have hair <laughs> extensions for you. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use this tiny little mirror. I clearly did not think my way through this whole getting ready in the car. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my face with a setting spray. And you guys are probably like, why are you spraying with setting spray? Nothing on your face. But I just want everything to stick on my face, you know? You know. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with Tarte Shape Tape. And usually people just use this as a concealer, but when I'm getting ready for a big event example a uh, rock nation party i like to put it all over my face because it's gonna cover literally everything you're like pretty good at doing makeup i'm not you are though your makeup always looks nice and you, you my makeup always looks great you never have on makeup and i think she has way too much makeup on like you walk for the spotify event i kind of thought i might have overdid it no you look so good okay well good then i'm gonna do exactly what i did i mean it was like jeez so I'm also using, I don't even know what this product is, to be honest. The labels came off. No label. So this is what I'm doing. I look great right now. I have a little brush and I'm gonna spray it with this aqua. It's like literally just like water. And I just wanna moisten that so it helps blend the products. Gotta moisten it. Can you feel the vibes freaking out with the sun coming out? Yeah. Last year it was actually really cloudy and like overcasty. And then it was like hot. And then turned out to be a beautiful day. It got really hot. Wow, my northern accent just came out. Well, also, Al, let's not get it twisted. If we need to, if I need to text Kim and say like, hey, hey are you cool if it's like more like 11, 15? We can do that too. <laughs> but I'm confused. You're like, let me, add, like maybe, maybe my manager has some. I'm like like your manager? Ask. Does not have hair extensions like I do. I mean, my oh my god, I'm also crying. black, so like you know, yeah, she she's like literally. She's totally, is this gonna be a fast forward thing or? No, this is all. I'm me? I'm putting all of this goody juicy so, information in. 
it's interesting because Allie will agree with me. One thing that I've really been trying to say this year in 2020 is, quote, there's no wrong answer. I don't think quote. you have been trying to say that. Allie, I've said that to you multiple times. I don't remember that. Your birthday, I was like, anything you want, there's no wrong answer. Yes or no? Well, I thought that was just a birthday thing. Yeah, but here we are again, weeks later, and I'm like, listen, positive vibes only. Like, there's positive no wrong, vibes only. There's no wrong answer. This shape tape is like way too dark for under my eyes, so that's why I mixed it with the other product. But it does great at covering everything. I really like the texture of it. I wonder if the shape tape foundation like is the same way. So I've said this on my vlog, but I'm getting my MBA. Shout out to the Kelly School of Business, I Indiana get, University. Isaac's getting his master's from one of the best, actually the best business school in it's, the country. It's, it's, a, uh, it's the number one executive, uh, like online executive business degree in the country. And the NFL, they they're the they were the plug. They uh, they made it happen. So shout out to the National Football League. Shout out Roger Goodell. Okay. No, shout out okay, NFL. Okay. I'm now going to put on my foundation. The foundation I use is Fit Me Poreless Foundation. I put away my mirror, which is a really bad mistake. Cause I'm gonna get this everywhere. Okay, we're within 16 minutes. We should probably try to like locate. Oh shit. Are you turning in the heat? I'm turning. I mean, it's getting foggy. It's getting fog in here. So take off all your fog. I am getting so fog. I will haul the car. How far away is Kim's hotel from our hotel though? Seven minutes, I think. Oh. I mean, you stop smacking yourself with that brush. Tink, 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 tink. Guys, I forgot my earrings that was gonna wear. I literally got two pairs of earrings, one for the Spotify event and one for the Rock Nation event. And I forgot my earrings, so now I have to rewear my earrings and everyone in my Snapchats and Instagrams are gonna know. That's what's wrong with Snapchat, Instagram. I know, they know your earrings. Allie, you're not even on social media today. Shout out to you on Sunday. Look how many eyebrow, uh, eyebrow pencils I have in my makeup. Four of the same eyebrow pencils and only one of them. Here we go, found the one. Okay, while my foundation is settling into my skin, I can't do my eyebrows in the car. I can totally understand why. Oh my god. Girls would want like whole, like vegan products or like not a lot of chemicals. Because it's soaking in your skin. Yeah, you're literally putting it on your face. I know. I want to switch to all natural makeup, but I just don't know if it's going to cover my acne scars as best as like this does. I also just feel like I would hate wearing makeup. I feel like it would make my face feel so hot. <laughs> because it's like layers of stuff. Like even when I put lotion on my face, I start to sweat. Don't get ready for a Rock Nation brunch in the car. Doo -doo. Oh my God, Doo -doo. Isaac. I can tell you when big bumps are coming. Wow. Allie, this is not my fault. I did not make. It this feels wrong. like your fault. I can't do my eyebrows in the car. I physically can't. I mean, you're gonna have a lot of time when we get to. I know, but I want to focus on my hair. My hair. I hope your uh, agent watches over this and is like, they could have texted me and like gave me, like told me that they needed an extra 10 minutes. I mean, I, that's not like it's something that's out of the ordinary. <laughs> I'm gonna call Kim when we go. Kim, I need 10 minutes. I'm gonna call Kim when we get to, uh, when you go in there and just be like, is everything on schedule? Like, Guys, usually I don't film videos where I'm just like talking to you, how I, I would talk to Isaac, and it feels really good. And I wanna start vlogging more like this because the pressure of having to vlog and make everything seem perfect is really draining. And it, it makes me not wanna vlog. And like, I don't think you guys actually care if it's perfect or not. Like, you guys, I just said the word like 20 times and I'm not cutting it out. Oh my gosh. Well, we don't know if I'm cutting it out. I may. And the problem is Allie's a perfectionist. That's really the issue. I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. Honestly, my favorite part of my makeup routine is contouring my nose because I hate it so much. Uh, have I posted that? I have, I have posted that video at this point. You guys wanna know about my botched freaking all of my surgeries. You know how Frankie always stretches? Yeah. Evidently that's what dogs do when they're growing. Okay. Pause my get ready with me until I get um, ready. No, I'm a get ready with me is me getting ready. Pause this for a second. 
So we are now in our hotel. Obviously you can see, um, I did my eyeshadow, my eyeliner, and now I'm about to put on my falsies. Isaac, yep. you have the tickets? Yep, okay, I need to get ready. It's already 10.30. Okay. 20 minutes. So, well, I, okay, two things. You're gonna have to cut this out, but I need to go to the bathroom super bad. Um. Like, we're gonna have to figure something out. Okay. Because my stomach is on fire. I'm not cutting it out. My I mean, I can't, I, there's no possible way that I can use a bathroom back here with you in here. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. Give me- Be right back. Okay, so my fake eyelashes are now on. They're a lot more intense than I usually would do, but I'm like, you know what? It's a Grammy party, so everybody is going to be doing a lot more than they usually do. So. Can you close that door for that anyway? Probably not the best idea to put extensions in. 